So these are the new upgrade PCB boards from uh, Fritjof Dittner. I hope I've said his name right. Um, he sends them from Germany, he's produced them himself and they will convert your Discovery 4 steering wheel so it can be used in a Discovery 3. Now, these were available before, a slightly different design from a company called Black Box Solutions and they were 160 pounds a pair. And these are more like sub 40 pounds. Uh, these are original sort of development boards that I've been sent. Uh, supposedly, Fritjof is creating a new version which is gonna be slightly different to these. It's gonna have uh, green LEDs rather than white to match your original dash and controls. And also on, these ver on this version, these switches here need reversing when I take this to bits. And also, it's worth noting that Fritjof is still trying to work this out, but on his steering wheel, the colors of these wires here in the actual wheel itself, his is the same as this. It's purple, blue, yellow from the left going onwards, but a lot of wheels seem to be purple, yellow, blue. So he's not sure if his wheel was wrong or if other wheels are wrong, but I've swapped my wires now here before I do this. So I've got purple, blue, yellow, rather than purple, yellow, blue. Right, to get into the wheel, it's really easy. You need a long reach uh, T20 Torx. So you're not gonna be able to use like a socket on your 3 8 inch drive. You're gonna need a screwdriver or one of these. And then we just undo these. Now on the other side there are some very small Phillips screws but first of all we will disconnect these plugs in here. It's just a little tab to push and out they come. Right, put the steering wheel to one side. So now I need a small Phillips screwdriver. there so as mentioned before on this version and I don't know whether future versions will be the same these two switch sets here need swapping over so I'm literally just gonna swap them like for like so push that one out put it just there push that set out All right, so I'm gonna move that over to there and I'm gonna move that over to there that's those two sides done. So now if I flip this over, all the screws on the side, we should be able to remove the button rubbers. 
And this, this bit's got the contacts on that pushes the actual buttons in the, in the steering wheel. So it's for that side. So maybe this one. Okay, now the PCB should slide out. on the screws. Oh, I can see there's a little retaining clip just there, so let's drop all the screws out. Well, there's a little clip just here on the PCB. So push that in. Okay, was that one? this one, pull the screws out, that's it. Okay, and then this one's the same, there's a little clip just there on the PCB. Push it in with one finger and then release, okay. So, new PCB. That one matches that one. Matches that one. So let's put it back in. Got to make sure all these pins go in the right holes. And then the little clip will go back in up here. Lovely. There's a couple of locating pins or locating dowels on the PCB. Oh, first, first problem. There's a little dowel there, and there isn't a dowel, there isn't a hole for it in this board. Everything else is a hole. So, resort to craft knife. Gone. All right, dealt with that. New PCB. Three fingers crossed. So there's more holes in this one than there are pins, interestingly. So you've got to get this spot on. There you go, it's in the middle now. Clipped in. And they can't go around any other way. So that obviously isn't going to fit there, so I don't think we can get it wrong. And then this goes back on there. There we go. Back on. Feels good. Do the same on this side. Drop the screen. I'll pick that up in a second. And then carefully drop that on there. Good. Well, I'll screw it back together and see if it works.